Happy 40th birthday, Gavin. You are watching me and my golf TV. Andy and Piers, could you please help Gavin take charge of his game? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Karen, for that great intro and happy 40th birthday, Gavin happy Oldfield. Happy birthday. Yes, this is My Swing Analysis, and this is where we analyse one of our lucky followers, Golf Swing. It sure is. Please get involved today. Go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and use the hashtag My Swing Analysis, and hopefully it'll be you. Yes, so congratulations on your 40th, uh, Gavin. Hope you have a great day. Very nice surprise from Karen there. I hope um, it is a nice surprise. Let's see if we can bring uh, you a fantastic birthday by giving you some great things to work on in your game. So, Gavin's a member at Pennant Golf Club in North Wales, handicap 12. Looking to get to single figures, he struggles with um, fat shots, so ground first with his irons and, and with his woods as well. Uh, his typical shape is a, a draw, but he can get the odd slice. So let's take a look down the line, Pierce, and, and just sort of see the uh, highlight a few areas. So let's go into his backswing here. Posture looks pretty good and setup looks pretty neutral. But as you swing into the backswing, what we're going to notice quite early on here, the club gets very much behind him, swing very much underneath the swing plane. And in what we call parallel point one, we can see the club head is well behind the hands. Yeah, it's difficult with these camera views, isn't it, Andy? Because I think these were taken as a surprise, so I think these have been uh, stuck in by Karen, so they're slightly off, but great job in getting them. Yeah, so as we go to the top of the backswing, he does a very good job of getting to the top of the backswing. It looks quite neutral at the top, actually. Club face is very square. And as we start the downswing now, we're just going to notice that it looks like the club gets a little bit underneath the plane. Again, at parallel point three here now, we're going to notice that the club is still a little bit behind the hands. There's less than the backswing, but still a fraction behind, and the club tends to bottom out a little bit early um, from there. That's where he'll get that ground shot from, Pierce. Now, if he doesn't quite square the face and leaves it open, he could get that one that sort of leaks out to the right. But with a path that's like this, a little bit from maybe a little bit to the right, if he closes the face, he gets that nice draw. So, what we want to look at here, all the way through to the finished position as well, we're just going to highlight his trail foot. Okay, it doesn't quite get onto the end of the toes, Pierce. So, he could get a slightly better footwork motion at the end there, which we'll talk about later. And let's go to the front on view. Pretty neutral setup, grip looks very good. If we swing back to the top of the golf swing, this is actually looking pretty sound. He's got good stability in the lower body, he creates a good wind up of the torso, fantastic shift back towards the target. Really good. Really good. And then through, again, pretty good. Again, feet could work a little bit better, but I think the main issue is really what we want to look at, Pierce, is the down the line. So. Like I said, the camera angles are a little bit out, but really what we would like to do, Gavin, is hopefully get you a little bit more on plane, really, Pierce. I think exactly. So from, the, from what we've heard about what the bad shots are that are going on and, and you know, looking at the camera views, although we can't tell plane perfectly, we've got an idea where the club is going, so we can definitely help out here. Let's just talk about Pierce. You, you, it is a good swing. So let's just, do, just demonstrate, Pierce, what we're looking at in terms of what Gavin is doing there again, and then we'll sort of highlight where we'd like to see him to be a little bit more neutral. Yeah, okay, so golf club on the way back, as you said, around the body to start with. Really quite a nice position here at the top, but sometimes when you, you stop and look at positions, you can't always sort of, you know, find out how they've got there, but we know it's gone around in this area here, but on the way down, because it spent a bit too much time behind his body, it actually does exactly the same on the way down. As you said, not as much, Andy, but the club head is coming from a little bit too far behind, um, and then from there, as it goes through the golf ball, it's more than likely then going to be swinging out to the right, as you said. And if you get the face uh, timed nicely, you'll get a lovely little draw. But if you don't, then you, you obviously can leave it out to the right. And then from there, as you're going through, you can see that the hands really sort of, the handle comes up quite high here, but then the lower body isn't really working its way round. So I think what we need to do is put some more rotation into the downswing and get the club on a better path on the way back. Okay, so let's just go through where we'd like to see that path better, Pierce, or the plane. So in terms of the backswing, in an ideal, in an ideal swing, we'd like to see this parallel point one, the club be a little bit more in line with the hands, and it would be replicate that in the downswing, Pierce, on parallel yeah. point three. Majority of the best players in the world, there's hardly any great ball strikers that bring the club around the body. There's a few, but not many. So from here, obviously the feeling, like, sorry, what Andy just said then, club goes up and then returns back down to a similar spot. Okay, so what drills can we give Gavin then to give him the feeling yeah. of getting that way? Okay, so this is a really good drill. We do this with a lot of our students and it really helps get an exaggerated difference from what you're doing in your backswing. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to exaggerate the difference of what you're doing in your backswing. So if you imagine the butt of the club, we're going to get it pointing at the buckle on your belt. So as I go back, 
to hands just past the leg or eight o'clock, whatever position we want to call that, we can see that the buckle, sorry, the belt, the, the butt of the club, get that out properly, is pointing to the buckle. Now from there, all we're going to do is set the club up. Now we're not saying you're going to swing like this normally, but this is what you're going to do in the drill, okay? And then from there, all you're going to do is turn to the top of your backswing, and then from there on the downswing, you're going to work really hard at turning your whole body through to the target. Now this is going to make the club go a little bit more to the left, which is great, but also you're going to see that lower body is working a lot harder to get you through there. See the sole of your foot face facing more towards the camera, and like you say, this will have a big effect if that club's bottoming out a little bit too much too early, those heavy shots that you talked about, Gavin, by getting it more on plane and really working hard to turn onto the lead side, you're going to start to see that ball followed by the, the, uh, the turf there. Sure are, sure are. Let's okay. give it a go, Pierce. Let's hit a shot doing shot that. Do, doing the actual drill, yep. So you can do this, actually, you're a skilled golfer, so you'll have no problem doing this drill. It'll be a bit funny to start with. So from here, again, move the club back, the butt of the club pointing at the, the buckle, set the club, turn, and turn. And you can see... Slight fade there, which is exactly what I would be telling the student to do if they had that problem. So you really got through onto that right toe. So that will feel quite strange, Gavin, for you there to start with, but then we can blend it into a motion, Piers. Yeah, so, we yeah, obviously want to move it into a motion. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you almost feel when you're doing it, so to start with, it'll be uh, position, position, and you know that sort of movement there, but then we want to blend it and feel as though it's all one motion, definitely. I want to see that then, Piers. Okay, let's have a go in the shot, yeah? So, okay. Yeah. So I'm actually working getting the club a little bit more outside on the way back anyway, which okay. is something I'm kind of doing a little bit myself. All right, let's do that. Okay, so another little waggle there. Get the feeling of it. And that was Beautiful even better. Beautiful little cut. Bit and more ball turf on that one yeah, as well. Going to be easier to do that when you're doing a normal shot, obviously. So hopefully there, Gavin, that's give you some great things to work on in your game. I think if we can get your club in better positions and more on plane, but certainly get you finishing better, you're going to see that ball strike better and you're going to see that direction improve as well. Have a fantastic birthday. Big thanks great to Karen for doing that intro there. Well done. And uh, please keep us posted there. If you guys have any questions, please post them down below. We'd love to get back to you. Absolutely.